everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here, and I felt the connection, did you? about a science fiction film that I really should have seen on the big screen. I was really wanting to, but I just never got around to getting to the theater and seeing it, and I'm regretting the fact that I didn't, because I finally got a chance to see this film from 2013, and it of course is the Guillermo del Toro-directed Pacific Rim. This movie was one of the best science fiction films that I have seen in a long time. Why this movie is so great is because Guillermo del Toro, who is probably one of the most ingenious writers and directors in film today, anything that he touches turns to gold. The Hellboy movies, the Second Blade movie, Mama, Pan's Labyrinth, Rise of the Guardians, and now you have this movie. He takes... All of the great sci-fi elements of the last 30 years and wraps them into this neat little package. Anime fans would love it. Fans of science fiction like Star Wars would like it. Post-apocalyptic fans would like this kind of movie. It just has a little something for everybody and a great cast to go along with it. You have Charlie Day, a phenomenal performance by Idris Elba, and two fresh faces to the world of science fiction, Charlie Hunnam and Rinko Kikuchi. You also have a phenomenal score by Raman Djwadi. I hope that's how you pronounce it. It's just a great and fun score that really drives the movie, but what also really drives the movie is the character depth and the story. It's a simple-to-follow story, and it's because of that, with the character development and the rich backstory that does come along with it, it channels movies like Blade Runner, The Fifth Element, Serenity, and just makes it a fun and exciting movie to watch. Great special effects. Probably some of the best special effects that I have seen in a while. So, a science fiction, anime, any kind of big robot, big explosion fan would truly adore a movie like Pacific Rim, and I really did, because after I saw it, I went out and I bought it. It didn't take me 24 hours to decide that I wanted to buy this movie and own it for my very own collection, and I am giving Pacific Rim three and a half out of four, because it is not perfect. It's a great and enjoyable movie, but it is by no means perfect, and I probably would have given it 4 out of 4 if I saw it on the big screen, but that's the way it's going to be for now. So thank you very much for watching another episode of One That Got Away, and I will see you guys in the next video, and let's go Rangers!